It's been a very, very educative uh, course that we have attended here. And it's trying, it has refocused our strategies, uh, refocused the um, priorities that we need to have in terms of health and nutrition and uh, a lot of things that the, the importance of uh, evaluations, a lot of systematic studies and the documentation, the ways to identify your weaknesses, the way to overcome them, uh, solutions to problems, how to identify problems and how to solve them. So it's been a very interactive and a very nice course that we've attended and in it, it has in fact uh, reinforced a lot of things that we are doing and it has helped us to do uh, help us to learn a, a lot of uh, good new things that we need to do further. What I've learned new from the Transform Nutrition course are basically some of the interventions that can work in a certain context and which we do not normally uh, practice back home. One, of, For example, I've learned about how to use vendors as uh, key stakeholders in the fight against malnutrition by introducing programs that encourage them uh, to conduct home visits. And we've also learned a lot about... Um, issues of how to make interventions work, agricultural interventions, looking at where the gaps are and what needs to be done in order to make them more nutrition sensitive and how to, to, to differentiate uh, nutrition specific and nutrition sensitive interventions. Uh, the first thing is uh, uh, the positive nutrition outcomes that we really want. The first thing is to go and uh, as we go back is review our plans uh, and uh, gather the data that is existing uh, in country to help us make changes. Uh, sharing what we have learned here with the people we have left back home and uh, together chat a way forward in making new plans to create change. Uh, one thing that we really put in practice would be uh, documentation and evaluations. Well, a lot of good things have been done. Uh, it is of to no use if it's not evaluated and to find out the quality and uh, the success and all the failures. So the, what, what we'll immediately plan on my return is to put in place a very strong evaluation mechanism on a long-term basis so that the faults and the successes both come out equ with equal force and we rectify our mistakes and work on the successes and improve them s and sort of uh, strengthen the uh, strengthen the further strengthen the successes and uh, remove the weaknesses as uh, uh since I work with a team that is conducting an operational research uh, for the scaling up nutrition and what we are doing is we are always learning and we are drawing from the lessons to inform the kind of interventions that we advocate for in the districts that we work with. So whatever interventions that I'm learning through different uh, participants of this course coming from different contexts and different countries will inform some of the things that we do because I'll be able to share with my colleagues some of the interventions that are working in other countries and then we can see how best to enroll or, or to incorporate those kind of interventions in our own setups. And again, the networks from this uh, particular meeting will also inform uh, areas for further research in terms of agriculture and how it links with nutrition. Okay, well, I'm from civil society, so one thing that we're going to do when we go back home is to um, take most of the information that we've acquired from here and update uh, my civil society colleagues on the key issues that have come out of this workshop and um, uh, really strategize and see what we can replan and ensure that we are much more effective in our program implementation. I think uh, so, so far, in, in terms of the course, what, what I've really learned is the importance of multi-sectoral um, approach in terms of working uh, on nutrition, that not even agriculture alone would really do it, but there's an aspect of water and sanitation and many other sectors that need to be considered. And I think what's really great about the course is that we have very good uh, inputs or contribution from participants, uh, like you have first-hand information in terms of a practical experience of what is going on from different countries, which is very, very important if you have to um, implement um, interventions in your country strategically.